So what is a G0 phase? It is a resting stage where cells have exited the active cell cycle and stopped dividing. The cells in G0 phase remain metabolically active but do not divide unless stimulated by appropriate external signals like growth factors. It is considered as a part of G1 phase as cells can re-enter the cell cycle from G0 into the G1 phase. Now let us discuss the characteristics of cells in G0 phase. Cells in G0 have a diploid number of chromosomes and are not actively replicating DNA. Transcription and translation still occur in G0 cells, allowing them to maintain basic cellular functions. These cells do not express genes associated with cell cycle progression such as cyclins. Cells in G0 have a lower metabolic rate compared to cycling cells or dividing cells. Now let us see some examples of cells in G0. Terminally differentiated cells such as neurons and cardiac muscle cells, they remain in G0 permanently. Once differentiated, they remain in G0 state permanently. Stem cells and some adult cells, they reversibly enter into G0 phase because of absence of growth factors or by means of conduct inhibition or lack of nutrients. Lymphocytes and hepatocytes can enter G0 temporarily and re-enter the cell cycle upon appropriate stimulation. Now let us see what are the factors that actually triggers cells to enter into the G0 phase. Cells enter G0 phase due to differentiation. In the case of neurons and cardiac cells, once differentiated, the cell enters G0 phase. Then lack of nutrients or growth factors. When these growth factors and nutrients are available, the cell will enter into the cell cycle again, G1 phase again. And the third factor is increased cell density that lead to contact inhibition. Once a cell comes in contact with the neighboring cells from all sides, there is a natural tendency to enter into G0 state. Then DNA damage or cellular stress all can make a cell or force a cell to enter into a G0 state for DNA repair or some cells may enter into G0 state as a temporary state after mitosis. The significance of this G0 phase is this phase allows cells to conserve resources and maintain a balance or homeostasis until conditions are favorable for re-entering into the cell cycle. Hope you understand the concept. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.